okay guys recently one of you have asked me that whether a seated connection is a shear connection or a moment connection okay while well, throughout this video we will try to understand whether a seated bolted connection is a shear connection or not okay so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also if you are already subscribed and you would like to show some support and love towards this channel in that case you can join this okay so at the very first what is seated connection well i think seated connection is one of the easiest connection in our steel design and as the name suggests it is seated that means it simply sit over something okay so simply let's say this is a support and this is a support okay and now let's say you have a beam over this two support and you know this is simply a simply supported beam in reality it looks something like this and this connection is nothing but a seated connection yes it is that simple as i say okay it simply sit over a support that is why it is seated connection now the question is whether it is a moment connection or shear connection now if you say well as i have already mentioned it is uh, if we draw the linear diagram of the seated connected beam it looks something like simply supported beam and you know in any simply supported beam the bending moment diagram looks something like this that means at the support the bending moment is simply zero so it is a shear connection it is not a moment connection now try to understand from connection point of view or try to dive into the micro level how these forces actually transfer through this seated connection and then take a call whether this is a shear connection or moment connection okay and in reality if you would like to have a look into the seated connection then well let's say you have a column like this one and you have another column like this one and you would like to put some load in between these two columns in that case what you have to do put any type of support attached to the flange of the column okay then simply rest the beam over this to support that is actually attached to this column flange okay now uh, why seated connection is used as you can see in this particular picture this is very simple type of connection okay so whenever you need to have a simple connection in that case you can use the seated connection because in case of a seated connection you don't need to have a detailed fabrication drawing because as in this case you have much flexibility to place this beam over these two support you don't need to have a more detail or elaborate fabrication drawing right the second one is let's say you would like to uh, make this column connected temporarily okay that means after a few days or after a few times you would like to use this particular beam to in another location in that case you easily misplace or displace this uh, beam by simply removing the bolt then again put the beam somewhere else so you can reuse this beam very easily okay not only that once you are using a seated connection let's say you have already erected this two column correct this is another column and here is the support that is moment connected or welded or bolted with the column flange now you would like to place a beam here you know once you have placed 
a beam here even before putting the bolt here you have already a support in this two location so you are getting an immediate support after the erection so these are the advantage of using a seated connection okay now come to the design aspect of this shear connection okay as you have already understood that this doesn't transfer any type of movement that is why i have mentioned here a shear connection or you can still use this quad that is sheeted connection now as you know that in a seated connection a column have some support like this here we have used an angle like this this angle is attached to the flange of this column this is the flange of the column right now this angle is known as sheet angle and instead of using the angle you can simply use a flat bar like this if your load is very low and this flat bar is let's say welded with the flange of the column okay so this is your column right now you are trying to put your beam over this support let's say you are using uh, an i section or white flange section as your beam so this beam will have load like this so this load is trying to be transferred to this support first so this support will take your load first in this case the angle will take your load first from this beam okay so you have to design this beam for the reactive let's say this is your beam and this is your support supporting angle so this angle will provide some thrust from underneath of the beam and you need to design this beam from this reaction why because this reaction or this udl force will be get dispersed at certain angle and in this wave zone this is the critical zone where stress will be maximum and you need to design this beam so that it can carry the stress that is caused for this reactive force correct well not only that you know let's say we do not have the beam we have only the load and load is being applied over this angle and you know this angle is actually attached to the flange of this column this is the column and this is attached by means of some bolt or weld whatever it may be so simply try to visualize you have a load here and it is fixed at the end so what will happen simply this angle actually is acting like a cantilever beam and you need to design this thickness for the moment caused due to this force remember this moment is not coming at the beam okay rather this moment is caused due to the shear force that is applied by the beam to this sheet angle and then at this fixed end there will be some moment right so the thickness of this sheet angle is governed by the am amount of your force as well as the distance where it is being applied sometimes you may have large amount of force and the moment may be very high so you may have a requirement of very high thickness of this sheet angle in that case what can you can do you can simply put a stiffener like this this is the stiffener 
and in that case it is known as stiffened sheet connection otherwise it will have unstiffened right so these are the design aspect still there is one more question that i have not answered yet what is that question well here you can see at the top we have used a cleat angle the bottom one is known as seat angle whereas at the top one we have used a cleat angle well let me erase everything okay now it's okay fine so we have discussed about the stress in this beam wave we have discussed about the thickness requirement of this sheet angle due to the moment caused the this shear from beam and the uh, eccentricity r right and also here you can see there is a cleat angle what is the requirement of cleat angle and i think the majority of you have a confusion whether this seat connection is a shear connection or moment connection because of this cleat angle okay many of you have a confusion well you know that in case of a moment connection the flange of a beam they are actually connected with the flange of a column right and the wave is welded so in this case also the flange is connected through this cleat angle and seat angle so why this seat connection is not a moment connection well this cleat angle is not transferring any moment from this of flange then why it is being used at all well let's say you know seat connection is simply is found in a simply supported beam right and in a simply supported beam you know if you have a load it will have a bending moment criteria like this and the deflection criteria will be uh, same okay so this is the let's say the deflection the deflected shape is like this okay so this is the initial position now it has deflected so the top part is under compression bottom part is under tension no confusion now due to this compression what will happen as we have i section or white flange section the bottom flange is under compressive load and as it is under compressive load this top flange will try to buckle okay so we have a compressive load and the top flange will try to buckle and this buckling is out of plane buckling and this is known as lateral torsional buckling to restrain this buckling or to give some support to this top flange what we do we simply put a cleat angle at the top so that if there is any type of rotation this will be arrested by this cleat angle correct so these are the aspect or design aspect that you need to understand before decline declaring your seat connection as moment connection so now i think it is clear to you why this is not a moment connection and why this is a shear connection sorry for the lengthy video and i think if you have learned something from this don't forget to share it